Hey everybody, it's Clone the Clocks and then uh, welcome back to more Pokemon Red. In the last episode, we took on the unexpected gym leader of Viridian City, Giovanni, whom disbanded Team Rocket. And in this episode, gaining us the 8th badge, allowing us to take on the Pokemon League. And in this episode, I'm actually going to do a couple of things before we head on to the, on to the last area of the game. Um, uh, here in this... Here in this water in Celadon City, there's two Pokemon you can find here that we never went over. First off is the evolved form of Poliwag, Poliwhirl. Poliwhirl is very fast and is good at and is good at attacking and some um, uh, good special attacking. Um, I would recommend it. It's pretty. It's a pretty good Pokemon. But you can also find a uh, Slowpoke in here, and as its name implies, it's very slow, as you can see. Um, so. But it is good at, good at both physical and special attack game. Pretty good at defending, even if it is like the slowest Pokemon in the game. It is it is still good. Uh, and uh, we actually found a Slowpoke um, when we, when we were on Seafoam Island a couple of videos ago, and we and uh, I didn't go over it there because we, I kind of glitched. I kind of glitch found it, but I just decided to catch it anyway because you know it was there. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I caught a Pokemon via Glitch. Oh, for, sue me. Starting this video off, however, I actually got the Super Rat out of the PC because I'm actually going to try to catch a Poliwhirl. You can see we have, uh, only four Pokemon with us. And, okay, I'll make sure I had Mesmer with me. Not even a nibble. I feel like a Poliwhirl would grab onto it and bite it. It doesn't even have a mouth. Here we go. Hmm. Not sure how we can beat it without... I'm not sure how we can weaken it without beating it. I feel like Fire Blast would, would, would take it out. I guess we'll just switch to Mesmer and start chucking the Great Balls. And we have some Ultra Balls, too. Alright. Oh, I'm surprised we got him the first one. Capable of living in and out, in or out of water. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna head back to. Now I'm going to head back to, uh, Route 23. Here we are on Route 23. On Route 23 in the grass, you can find the, the, awful, the evolved form of Ekans, Arbok, which is Cobra backwards with a K. Uh, and it's actually, it's good, it's actually kind of fast for what it is. Um, it's also, um, good at good at physical attacking, but just know that if you get if it gets hit by a psychic ground move, it's probably not gonna survive it. Fishing with the Super Rod, you can find four new Pokemon. One of them is Slowbro, and look at that sprite down there. Please tell me how you're supposed to supposed to know that that's a that's a shelter on its tail. Or you're that you're even supposed to know that's a shelter without looking at the Pokedex. But anyway, Slowbro is is tied for being the second slowest Pokemon in the game. Um, and it's, it's a really defensive Pokemon, and it's also good for both types of attacking. If you want it, it's good. You can use it. You also have, uh, Krabby's Evolve Form, Kingler. You have the three Evolve Forms of the Pokemon we found in, uh, in, uh, Cerulean Gym. Uh, Kingler has beastly attack, as you can see, and really good defense. Only problem is, it doesn't really learn good moves to back up that attack. It's, it's, it's... Its signature move, Crab Hammer, is a water type move, meaning it's special. And as you know, physical and special moves are 
are determined by the type due to Game Boy limitations, or maybe they were just lazy. I don't know, but you can also find Seedra, Horsey's Evolved Form, which is just another good water attack, really. And if you don't like Seedra, how about Sea King, which has a signature move called Waterfall, which is it, which is Surf, but with 80 power in the set of 90. Um, and, and, yeah, it's basically just another water attacker. That's it. I'm here because I want to catch a slow bro. Jenny behind me is just like, why this kid fishing and not going up to the Pokemon League? Hey, on the first attempt! Let's use Swift right here. Oh, I actually stood up to it. Uh, don't get a critical speedy, please. Okay. The shelter that has latched onto a slowpoke's tail is said to feed on the host's leftover scraps. It is its poop, what? <laughs> okay. Okay. Now that we have gotten two, put two new Pokemon, first I'm gonna head to Cerulean. We're gonna go into this house. My husband likes trading Pokemon. If you are a collector, would you please trade with them? As a matter of fact, I am. Hello there, do you want to trade your Poliwhirl for Jinx? Jinx is a, is, has the unique type, the very unique type of Ice and Psychic. It's kind of a weird type, but it's good. It is it is pretty. It is pretty fast and pretty good at, spe at special, and it will be at the same level as the Polar World that you that you traded in it. Um, and also, and also, uh, it's it also has a signature move called the uh, Lovely Kiss, which is a seventy five percent accurate. I think it's psychic move that will put the enemy to sleep. It, it also learns a uh, Ice Punch at a fairly fairly decent level, so. And a nice and naturally learned ice move is just fine with me. Sure, take my tadpole for my uh connect the cable like so. And with that, we get a Jinx, which is an even even more. <laughs> this is like it's like a mix of of Hypno and Exeggutor Cry. We trade a Polyworld for Jinx. Lola. Ice and Psychic type, and it knows Pound, a Lovely Kiss, Lick, and Double Slap. Lick. <laughs> what about we want to be licked by this thing? But. Yeah, this is 
Jinx. Origin is cry is so freaking long. But that's not all. Now I'm gonna head to I'm gonna head to Fuchsia City. Or at least I think this is where it is. I'm looking for Slowbro. Want to trade one for Lickitung? Lickitung, I'm not gonna lie, is not really much better from from Slowbro. I've used one, but it's not exactly the easiest Pokemon to work with. And you might notice that speed is 30 right there. This is the Pokemon that's tied for being the second slowest Pokemon in the game. Yeah. Um, but if you... But if you want to use it, this you can. I mean, it's not that bad. But let me give you an interesting plot twist. This thing is called Lickitung. It is the licking Pokemon. It never learns lick. And yet freaking Jinx does. But you know what? Sure, you can have my Slowbro. Lickitung. Red traded Slowbro for Lickitung. Hey, thanks. Let's take a look at it. Mark. Supersonic Stomp, D Disable, and Defense Curl. Okay. So we had a Mr. Mime named Marcel and a Mr. and a Lickitung named Mark. Okay. But yeah, that's all I really wanted to show. These Pokemon don't really do anything. They're just they're just they're just there to free you to complete your Pokedex, which is the whole reason why I even traded them in the first place. So I'm gonna go put these put these in the put these away and then I'm gonna I'm gonna meet you guys back up on Route 23. Let's quickly go over the Pokemon you can find in the place first. First up we have Golbat, who is very fast, but doesn't really have much difference in its stats. You also have Machoke, which has a lot of attack power, not as much as Kingler, but Kingler has, has doesn't have as much good moves. But and I think its attack stack gets better as it at when it evolves, but it's slow. And then there is Marowak. Marowak, Marowak we fought one in Pokemon Tower, but now you actually have a chance to catch one because, well, it's not a ghost. So yeah. You, you want a Marowak? You can get it. Only problem is it's it's super rare. And thank God that is all the bios that I'm gonna have to make for a little while now, because we are heading into Victory Road. Now, first and foremost, you need to make sure you have a Pokemon that knows strength. Um So up there. Oh, also Make sure you have a lot of repels. Probably not. Probably not going to matter much. Consider doing the Pokemon in here are well above level. You know what? Actually, I'm just going to have talks about front end. And, well, and uh, okay, you see up there, there's um, a little wall there. Over there, there's a, a white button. How can you tell colors in a Game Boy game? What you want to do is you want to have your strength user use strength. All right, and careful right here because I've because I have accidentally exited before before when doing this. Before, uh, I think I've been talking to a certain somebody way too much lately. lately. They make me all weird like this.
So, you want to push the boulders on these buttons, and that will cause that wall to disappear. Is there anything on this? No, there's not. Uh, um, also off camera I uh, sold some more TMs just so we can have more inventory space. And I also, uh, um, also just as a note, you can find uh, Wild Dittos in the, in the, you can also find Wild Dittos in the grass outside. Uh, these items, you can take one but not the other. Um, let's go over this. Here we have a rare candy. Uh, if you want to get the other one, you can just leave the area and come back. And also, should you leave the area, even though you, even though the oh the boulder was reset, the button was not. So even if you le have to leave and heal, you won't have to do the uh, you won't have to do the uh, puzzle again. Okay, here we have TM-43. TM-43 contains... Sky Attack, the most powerful flying move in the game. Only Time War can learn it. Sky Attack is a, a 140 powered, 90% accurate flying type move. I am not going to teach that to Time War, unfortunately, because I would rather have him have fly anyway. Uh, where are our repels? Right here. I also got some hyper potions off camera. Now, let's fight the first trainer in here. I wonder if you are good enough for me. Alright, let's see how high level you are. It's been a while since we've seen you. A Persian. Well, guess what? You thought you had a really fast Pokemon? I have an even faster Pokemon! Take that! Oh! And use the- Why are you able to use a Hyper Potion? Uh, never mind. Oh. How come that critical hit beat it? Eh, yeah, damage in Pokemon does have a bit of variance to it. Up next, we have Nine Tails. No, oh, it's actually standing up to the attacks. Speedy grew to level forty three. I lost out. I never wanted to lose to anybody. Okay, um, let's put, let's put Hellblaze there. Gotta miss Hellblaze. Uh, there's also a boulder right here if you want to go back. And I didn't switch. Here we have Oinks. <laughs> I don't know, that's how I used to pronounce Onyx because I didn't know how to freaking read. Well, I mean, I did, but I just didn't like to bother to read. Now I'm just gonna run. I don't really want to waste my PP on the wild Pokemon. Do we have an Ox, though? I don't think we do. Because I remember Onyx being really freaking tough to catch. Oh, yes, we have an Onyx. Oh! That was close. I can see you're good. Let me see exactly how good. So these are all trainers who have beaten the elite... Uh, not the elite. The uh, eight gym leaders. Ivysaur. 
thought I remember this guy having a having a Charizard, but I guess he doesn't. War Turtle. Oh wait, I think he does have a Charizard. He has um all three starters. Let's go to Mesmer. Let's see what Metronome gets us. Disable. Water gun, okay. Two X attacks. Maybe I should have kept Headbutt on. Maybe I should have kept the. What's it doing? Oh, it's about to use Skull Bash. This is gonna hurt. Just use Psychic. I was gonna try to conserve my PP on Psychic, but maybe I should have just kept Headbutt on Mesmer. Oh well. She's dead. Now I was about to use Charizard, and I'm actually just gonna, I'm actually going to see, uh, switch to Kang and Khan, because I just want to see you get owned by Rock Slide. Hey, Trainer, you want to challenge me? Well, look at this, six Charizards, what do you think about that? Six Rock Slides later. <laughs> six Stab Rock Slides, I might add. I had a chance. I concede, you're better than me. You bet I'm better than you. Okay, um... I'll admit this place does kind of, does sort of confuse me to this day. Let's see, um... Alright, we got two of those things right there. Um, I'm gonna push that there and push it around. Pretty much anytime you see a button, it's probably an idea to press it. And that opened that up. I was also this. I think there's a hidden item next to that guy. Oh! Victory Road is the final test for trainers. Okay, we got a black bell. Uh, let's use Slash. Yeah, they're still using moves like Leer this day. Hellblaze grew to level 43. Here we go into Mesmer now. It's kind of funny, Charizard never learns any flying moves leveling up. That's not as bad as Electrode never learning any electric moves leveling up. Or lick it time never learning lick. Okay. I just can't get over that. <laughs> Mesmer grew to level 43. Mesmer is trying to learn to meditate. That is a psychic move that will raise your attack by two stages, but Mesmer does not know any physical moves. Ah! Yeah. If you get stuck, try moving some boulders around. And I see something rather ominous up there.
Ah, so you wish to challenge the Elite Four? So I do. Juggler. Oh, attack! Oh, it only raises it by one stage, not two stages. My bad. All right, hypno. What did you know, you know side beam by now? I don't know. I wonder why jugglers um, specialize in psychic types. Can you guys tell me? You got me. Blue also came through here. Blue! How did you know who he is? Okay, um. That seems like to be the exit, but of course it's blocked. Can you ride your, can you ride your bike in here? Yeah, you can. Ah, yes. Here we have TMO5, which contains a Mega Kick. I don't know why it's here when you can just buy it from the Zelda department store. And there's an item right there that this this guy's guarding. He's like, don't take it because it's mine. Well, too bad. Now your back is turned for me. Come on, I'll whip you. Tamer. Hey, buddy, how's it going? He's got a Persian, too. I gotta say, I'm having a surprisingly smoother run in, on Richter Road than I thought I would. Hellblaze grew to level 44! Golduck. Speedy. As, uh, this is a uh, side deck's evolved form. I got whipped. You were in the right to be on Victory Road, and I think there's a there's a hidden item down here I missed. I'm gonna go get it. Or not? Okay. Alright, what do you got? Here we have a full heal. Okay, that's nice. Oh, okay. Oh! I didn't switch Hellblaze out. Is Victory Road too rough? Actually, I've been having a surprisingly better run than I thought I would be having. You've got one Pokemon, and it's a Mr. Mime. Oh, 48, no less. Uh, just see what a couple slashes does. Uh, it's 3.52 a.m. right now. Hey, I don't have anything to be doing. Well done. Many trainers give up the challenge here. Don't throw the game, throw Pokeballs instead. Here we have TM17, which contains... Submission. We all know what Submission does. I don't know why there's TMs in here that you can literally just buy at the cell one department store.
Alright, here we are in the third floor. We have this guy guarding an item, so let's go ahead and fight him. And let's not forget the switch this time. Now let's not accidentally hit Dig with Hellblaze, please. I heard rumors of a child pro prodigy. What? Alright, let me open up my dig dictionary. Executor. I made this. I made the right choice switching the time war. Prodigy, a noun, a person, especially a young one, endowed with exceptional qualities or abilities. And here I thought we were. And here I thought people were done talking about me being a kid. Prodigy. It's a signature move of executing an executor, and yet it sucks. Well, so much for sucking, it almost took me down halfway. Cloister. I'm gonna go with King Con this time. Oh, I could have just gone speedy, I guess. Oh well. Which is maybe that would have been the better idea. Arcanine. Uh, go time more? I want to know what this thing is going to do first. Uh, fly? Oh. I should have known. My phone just told me the iPhone storage was full. I reset it. I reset it, and the storage just went down like 10 gigabytes. What the hell? Well, so much for the, we're not knowing what our guy was gonna do. Time, we're going to level 44. The rumors were true! You beat Giovanni at Team Rocket three times to the point where he disbanded it. Even though I didn't really say it in those exact words, Giovanni did disband Team Rocket. Okay. This boulder is interesting. Um, are there any other items here? There's only two items in this whole place. Uh... Oh, there's another train over here. Trainers live to seek stronger opponents. Okay. And I feel burp coming. Excuse me. Uh, let's go. Let's go to Time War again. Unless it puts me to sleep. Oh, how much is it gonna do? Oh, didn't even do that much. Dugong. <laughs> it's 
water ice type. Headbutt, oh wow. Chansey! Uh, let's go to Kang and Khan. This thing's got beastly special, but it's also got beastly HP, so it might be an idea if we uh, use submission here. Although using submission will make it will uh, make it so we take recoil damage from a lot because it has so much HP. See, look at how much that did. Kang and Khan grew to level 46. Kang and Khan is trying to learn Dizzy Punch. Uh, Dizzy Punch. Dizzy Punch is a 70 power, 99.6 accurate, normal type move. And with the, by the name Dizzy Punch, you might think it, it would confuse the enemy, but it doesn't actually do that at all. So, I'm just gonna forget about it. Otherwise, I'd probably put it in front of Mega Kick. Oh, so strong. Are there any more trainers around here? Oh yeah, there's that thing right there. Let's push this. Actually, should we... Yeah, let's heal Speedy up real quick. Dude, these potions that have been in my pocket for so long. We do not have this. Let's try to catch it. Although I don't know if catching Pokemon would necessarily be a smart move in the final area. Oh, well, but we are trying to complete the Pokedex. Oh, that's going to do 45 damage to Mesmer. Okay, um, hypnosis? Okay. Alright, now let's use the great balls. Sheesh, I just don't want, I just don't want Mesmer to faint. I, come on, put it to sleep. Put it to sleep! Two great balls left. Last one. Oh, we got it with the last one! Its muscular body is so powerful, it must wear a power save belt to be able to regulate its motions. One of those kind of funny. I think I've read somewhere that the belt it wears is not actually part of its body. Yeah. And just think about it, and just think about a Malchoke, like, right when it evolves in the wild. Just, just think about that for a minute. Okay, um... Now we want to push this boulder through here. And that will open up another part. Let's see what this is. 
TM47. That contains... Explosion. Explosion is basically the same thing as self-destruct. Only Speedy can learn it. Uh, explosion is a 99.6 accurate normal type move with 170 power. It, but, but it's, but during, when the move is used, it, the, the enemy's, uh, defense stat is cut in half effectively doubling its power to 340. And while Speedy does learn this move leveling up, I'm not really going to use this move any anytime. I'm not really going to use the TM anytime else. So, let's just teach it to Speedy. I don't really think we use self-destruct that much though. Um Down here, we can find an Ultra Ball, and there's a trainer here and a shortcut to get back. If you can get through here, you can go meet the Elite Four. Well, that's good because we're almost done. Pokey Maniac, we haven't seen one of you in a while. Oh, speaking of Pokey Maniacs, that there was actually a trainer that we could have fought though I never did. Speedy to level 44. Lapras. Uh, see how Mesmer fan bears against it. Oh, jeez. I think that's going to take Mesmer out for sure. Oh, it didn't. But it paralyzed him. Okay. Well, you put up a good fight. Go speedy once more. Do what you do best at being the fastest Pokemon in the game. And that's the whole reason I used you on my team. Lickitung. Um I'm speedy out there. Really starting to see a lot of variety of Pokemon. No, unbelievable! I can't beat you when it comes to the knowledge about Pokemon. See, the trainers in, in this place are actually good trainers. Um, up here you can find a guard spec, which, and down there is something rather ominous. I'm gonna ignore that for now and come back for later. But, um, you can head out here and. Around here, there's some more trainers, yeah. A gravel. I don't want to fight a graveler because it comes, it's these gravelers are definitely coming armed with self destruct. Only the chosen can pass here. Chosen? Well, I guess. Well, I guess. Uh, well, I guess getting all eight badges is technically being chosen. Kingler. See, these people. These people are actually good trainers. I mean, we're we're actually seeing a lot of variety here. Fortunately, unlike what I do, they probably don't fight every trainer they find, and thus they're they're kind of under level for what they should be. Seriously, I I want I'm. Like, I want to be level fit, at least level 50 for the final boss, and I'm like, oh, and I'm like mere fives away from it. 
barrier. Okay, last Thunderbolt. Speedy Grudel level 45! Blastoise. Uh. Timer? I really should actually use a potion on time war. Oh. Whoa! Um. Uh, well. Uh, this calls for this. Oh god, it's about to use Skull Bash. Go to Toxifa. I don't believe it! All trainers here are headed to the Pokemon League. Be careful. Thanks for wishing me luck. I'll show you how good, just how good you are. How are you going to show me if I'm the one fighting you? I, I'm confused. Of level 43 Bell Sprouts, seriously? Hardly seems even worth it to use Fire Blast. I would have been I would have been amazed if it actually lived there. Looks like it's gonna have the Bell Sprout family. I like their cries, even though I don't really like the design of Victory Bell. It just looks really weird. I mean, I know it's based off of the pitcher plant, but I really don't like it. Hellblaze grew to level 45. I'm furious. Oh, speaking of, well, oh, let's talk to you first. You showed me just how good I was. Uh, speaking of that, um, if you want to see a really cool video on, uh, the pitcher plants, I would uh, highly recommend uh, watching um, Ants Canada because uh, just look up Ants Canada pitcher plants, it's a really um, interesting video. But here we have a boulder that is above a hole. We can push that down the hole and then fall down it, and we'll end up somehow right next to it, not on top of it. And uh, We basically just want to push it this way. Oh wow, I'm not even on the bike and, and the bike music is playing. I think I just discovered the glitch. A self-discovery, not like a big discovery. And with that, I know there's an item somewhere here. Oh well. Oh wait, no, 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 no. It's right here. Uh, no, it's right here. No, what? Okay, whatever. Oh wait. Yes, right here. This is where I was thinking of. With that, we finally made it out. Guys, I welcome you to Indigo Plateau, where these really weirdly placed, uh, the ultimate goal of trainers, where these really weirdly placed Pokemon statues. Uh, I can't shake the feeling there's an item somewhere around here. I guess there isn't.
I... Why did they design it this way? Oh well, I'm not I'm not judging. I didn't take some kind of eight-week correspondence course on the placement of po of statues in Pokemon games. Okay, this right here. Let's talk to this guy. Yo, champ in the making. At the Pokemon League, you have to face the Elite Four in succession. If you lose, you have to start all over again. This is it. Go for it. Talk to this guy. We have a Pokemark here. We've got full restores, max potions, full heals. We've even got revives, which I'm going to buy 15 of those. And repels for some reason. Okay. Talk to you. From here on, you will face the Elite Four one by one. If you win, a door opens to the next trainer. Good luck. So let me explain what's beyond this door. Beyond this door, there's going to be three or four really tough trainers after it. You have to face them all in a row. Um, losing to one of them will cause you to come back here, and you will have to start art from the beginning again. And uh, you'll also lose half your money. Um, but... I think we're going to save that for the next episode. Next time on Pokemon Red, we're going to be taking on the Elite Four of Kanto. See you guys then.